So I was watching the video with Arthur Better Be, I mean, Dimitri Bevo's ex-wife. She was cheering on the fact that Bevo lost. Man, could you imagine if he would have got knocked out? She would have been doing backflips with joy. You know, they saying that the reason why they're not together is because he beat her. And there was pictures for floating around with her having marks on her face. I'd seen that a while ago. Can't, you know, remember where I saw it, but I've seen them. But other people saying that those was fake. But man, she really got it out for Beaver, man. She really don't care for him too much. Um uh, I also was reading that Beaver's mom said she wasn't a good wife. Okay, and I'm hearing also that he had made money from the Canelo fight and he kept it somewhere else where she couldn't get access to it and it pissed her off. Let me say this, man. Maybe if he beat her, that ain't good. But from what everybody's saying, she's full of shit. But you know, we don't know. We're not in the bedroom. We wasn't there. But if she's lying, man, and, and she was just out for this, you did the right thing, man. Sometimes you got to cut your losses, man. Sometimes you got to cut your losses. You might, you know, a lot of people say, oh, she would have keep her. And so you got to be miserable with somebody just because it's cheaper to keep them. Nah, I cut my losses. I take whatever come my way. As long as I got my freedom again, bro. That's how I see everything. I'll be like, listen. You could take money from me. You could do all that other shit. All that worldly shit. You could do that. But guess what? I still got my fucking freedom in my fucking heart, baby. And I'm pretty sure that's how Beaver feel about it, too. You know, that's some real sore loser shit right there. You know, to um, then, then I'm hearing she was hopping in and be in better be was be um, DMs. You know, and I'm sure he's married too. I'm pretty sure his wife wasn't like that. You know, so man, man, y'all with yo dudes, y'all gotta be careful out here, bro. Y'all gotta be careful. <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna be honest with y'all about marriage, bro. I don't recommend it. Not in this Western way of living. You know, I don't recommend it. I think it's a trap. I think it's also slavery. <clears throat> you know that part when they do the vows and they be like for better or for worse and all that other dumb shit. God ain't write that. Uh, 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 another human wrote that shit. Y'all actually believe that shit? Now, it's one thing if it depends on what that means, for better or for worse. You with your partner and y'all going through financial things and y'all stick it out. You know, and the sickness thing, yeah, that's cool, so I understand that. But ain't no death do us part if you not the right for one for me, bro. I don't agree with that because that's slavery, bro. So a man or woman is supposed to be miserable because the vows say for better or for worse. Nah, no. I'm pretty sure God will want you to be happy, right? Not because you got married using somebody else, uh, another man walking the earth. He wants you to be miserable. Nah. This is why I said I just think... Everybody should not to like, you know, at least in a marriage without a license. Let's put it like that. You know, you want to get married, get married. But why do you need the government approval to be married? I never understood that. Because when something go wrong in the marriage, guess what? You can't just, okay, you go your way, I go my way. We got to go to courts. And I'm like, yo, bro, why do y'all get in the middle of marriages? Like, why is government intertwined with marriage, bro? See what I mean? Nobody don't get that yet. Nobody understand that. They want to be in everything. They want to have their hand involved in everything to have nothing to do with them, bro. No thanks. So, men, don't do it. I can't speak for women. I'm not a woman. But men, don't do it. You're going to go through the same shit Beaver going through. Unless he put his hands on her, which I never recommend. Unless, you know, she's beating his ass and he got to defend himself or she's trying to kill him. Then you gotta knock somebody fuck out. That's what you gotta do. But just smacking up a woman for no reason because you mad at her, nah. 
that ain't cool. Cause I got daughters, and I wish a dude would. <laughs> That's just my take, man. So what y'all think about Dimitri Bevel's ex-wife cheering and clapping and applauding that he lost last night to Arthur Better Be Evans? These are some real hatred there because he really was beating her ass, or she just scorned and mad because he wasn't gonna let her just run through his money i don't know you be the judge it's rebel life and i'll catch y'all later